20, 2009, a company came from Iraq. He said he needed an ex servicemen to go to Iraq. And then they sit down with the government and arrange. They said they pay us $250. The government agreed. When the company named Seba, when Seba, after entering Iraq, Seba transferred us to tourists, another company in Iraq. So we are working, but we meet in gardens there. So, but when tourists take us, tourists said that don't disclose your salary to any workers here. Say that they have, they have paid, they have, they have paid two hundred fifty dollars. So, we are discussing with the um, gardens, and the gardens told us that we have been here for uh, three years. They pay us uh, one thousand two hundred dollars. So, wow! I said, but for us, it's two hundred fifty dollars. Come on, that's, that's, that, that's a chicken chain. All right, we are working there. So. Even this professor told us, don't discuss this salary to even the US Army. So I put to have my friend who was the commander, he was the camp commander in, in, in the base. So his name Colonel, 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 he said, guys, so how much did he pay you to, to work here? He said, $250. He said, wow. He said, no. He said, we can't take this. This is too much. This is underpaid. He said, we can't work with you guys because this money is underpaid. So he said, let me see the contract. So we bring the contract. The contract was arranged between the Ministry of Labor and the SEBA. So the colonel said, I cannot work on this contract because your government is involved. I think that this contract was made between you and the company alone. So I can come in and adjust it. Second, okay, no problem. We are there. We send a message to our government and said that this is the issue we meet in Iraq. This morning was above that. They're supposed to pay us $600. Because if you got us, they want to pay the guy $600. That's why the guy said, no, if you, pay, if you pay us $600, we leave. That's why they come here and take us for $250. Because the guy said, no, $600 is cheap. We cannot pay for $600. So we are there. So they want, we also lost the contract. But because of we know where we are coming from, so we go back and tell the company, say, please, sir, we need this job. We need this job. Although the money is $250, we can work on this contract. So I have, I, I was there. I have my friend who was a, who was working, who was working, who was the um, United, who was working with the United Police, was, was training the Iraqi uh, uh, police. So he asked me, Mr. John, go and bring your contract to. I bring the contract. Say, Mr. John, you say look at the contract. There is no even insurance there. At that time, the police was fearful. Every day they attacked us, and I was an escort commander. I command even the general. I escort them because. We have Iraqi generals, even the first Prime Minister Maliki was sleeping in our base. We are the guard for the Prime Minister. And the, the base was, we are 450 Sri Lankan guards. And we are the only one that can fight if there's any attack. Even the US Army told us that, guys, we are the only guys that we hope, we, we hope that if there's any fight, we should fight to 15 minutes before the refreshment we come from another base. We say yes. So, so they said that. So one of the years I asked, asked, said, Johnny, he said, are you from prison that the government sent you here to come out for $250? He said, this is the money that I give my kid to go to school in the US. So wow. I said, so, I said, I said, okay. I said, no. I said, no. I said, I'm not in prison, but because of our country, we're finding it difficult. That's why we're working for this money. He said, even the, the, the country does not have insurance. He said, it's supposed to have insurance. He said, because of any damage, they have to pay up to $100,000. That's the use of the American. He said it should pay hundred thousand dollars. Said, but we don't, I don't see any insurance agreement in this contract. He says there will be insurance agreement. He said any, any contractor working in Iraq have insurance, pay me up to hundred thousand, eighty thousand dollars. So he said I will help you to get and some lawyers in the US. You can channel this case to them and they will take it and we we'll try. It, but we are not in, we are not in the US, so the case cannot go through. And after that. The government sent a representative, a minister, a minister of Bodia, and he said a lot of things that was not good done to us and started quarrel again. So we are there. But still, you know, the US people are very good. Because even when the DCMA, the one that our country will come and ask us, we we'll tell her the same thing. So after that, because if the DCMA came from America, come and ask that question, they say they pay $250, automatically you lose the contract. So when they came, they asked us to say, yeah, they are paying good money because we don't want to lose the job. Because the job means to us.
because when you leave Sierra Leone at that time, Sierra Leone was very rough, and we just go to work for the hundred, two hundred fifty dollars. I worked for two years here, and I decided to resign and come back to Sierra Leone. But still, you know that U.S. government, if they have more job opportunity to Iraq, can go there. But there will be a good condition because we don't want even to because we don't want the agreement between the government in any uh, coming one direct because when they came to take us the agreement with the government that would be the problem because when, when you told them they said we have to pay a government that's why the company tell us why do you pay, pay everything to the government what about we say about our nurses because see what we pay nurses and nurses everything but when we turn here we ask the government what our nurses nothing you have nothing, even nothing, nothing. So at the end of the day, come back home, no money. Because the people are told that give you $100, uh, $50, and they, they told that I send you, they send in an account. At that time, the dollar was, uh, the dollar, they, they changed it and put it in an account, 700,000 years. When you came, you meet them, you meet, you meet a few money because you have to make a lot for your family every month, go and collect uh, maybe 200, 300,000. So at the end of the day, you meet all home, empty, and then. Uh, so, because I know this all because of the mismanagement and because of the bank of the bank, uh, government in Af Africa, that's why this is affecting us. But we still we are praising to anyone that needs to help us. We need the job. We need the job. That's why even our colleagues go and die in the material city because there is no job in Africa. If there is a job in Africa, we can work there to make money. But if there is no job, this thing will not stop. People will continue to go. Even you talk to people, don't go live here. Don't cross. They will say, it will, it will be better than I die on the sea. Even I, I, I have an interview from a, a Nigerian lady. They captured him from the sea. They put him in the center. And I just said, interview. He said, Do you want to go to Nigeria? I said, My dead body. I will go and die on the sea before that going back to Nigeria. He said that because it's horrible in Africa. So if you send a message to in the end, Africa country, don't go to there. Here we go. Because there's no job. There's no encouragement. So many youths on the street, there's no job. So this is the opportunity people use. So when I go to uh, Italy, when I go to Germany, it will be changed for me and my family. So Africa leaders need to do more to stop. This, this, this all issue is led to the African leaders. If African leaders can stand up and create a job for the people, you see that people will stop to go to Libya. But if not that, we will continue to go to India. We will continue to go out uh, abroad to have a better life. So this is my testimony. So people, I, I want the European people to tell our government to do more for, the, for their people. To create more jobs. We, we, we can hear the money that the, the, the European government or the international people give us. But still, yet, anywhere.